No, no, no. You can't describe something as beautiful as this in one word. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> Um, let me think of one word that would describe it. Huh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> one more, one more, one more. I don't even know. Ask him, ask, ask Jacob. Wait, wait, anything with that. Down one word would be awesome. Tough. Alcatraz. Uh, it's strict <laughs> and all that jazz. <laughs> Work. Challenging. Adventurous. Fantastic. Fantastic. Fun. It's fine. Fun. Great. <laughs> Great! It's <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> Dell is cool. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! Character building. Challenging. <laughs> Educational. Memorable. It's memorable. Inspirational. Smart. Green. <laughs> Dell is extravagant. <laughs> A place where Dell boys can hang out. Home. Family. Friendly. Community. <laughs> Defining. First grade Catholic high school. Over the years, Del Sal has had the opportunity to shape the lives of many young students, each one having their own definition of Del. It's different for everyone because we all have very personal experiences with the school. So wide. What was your very first memory of Del? Uh, grade eight, not knowing whether to put up my blazer buttons or not. When I first started in grade five, I just remember like, you get all like the course outlines and everything and like I just like wasn't used to, I was in grade 5, like 11 years old, like didn't know like how to do anything and like I just remember like being in my room having all these papers and just like, and just like being so overwhelmed like crying like not knowing what to do and like just because like everything was so new and like I needed binders and like all of that. I got lost on Woodlawn because I thought it was far enough. Just go to his grade 9 science class, Zach Adele is sitting beside me and uh I uh, showed him the games on my calculator, and then ever since then we've been like, like a butter and jelly. I think it was when I walked into a grade 12 class, thinking it was my grade 7 religion class. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. That's real rough. Awkward. And then I sat down, still thinking it was my class. <laughs> Probably like the mass at the beginning of the year, I was in the second day of school. I didn't really know any people, but that's the first day I kind of met everyone. They were like all saying hi and everything. And I remember seeing the cadets, so I didn't know they had cadets. So I saw them walk in and I was just like shocked because I didn't know they had I would say in grade nine, first walking into the cafe and being like, wow, this is really high school. This is what you see in the Um, Grade seven, Mr. Ricoli's class. And Katie DB like coming in with a big bag of books and like showing me around. What's a moment here that you thought was overwhelming, but you were able to surpass? Um, in the seventh grade, when I got my first kilt slip, I cried. <laughs> so. Right now, my second last day of high school, just scared of what's going to happen, leaving my friends. Well, one morning I got an email at about 2.32 a.m. from Mr. Belisario when he forwarded that I was going to be going up to the Northwest Territories, which was rather overwhelming, and it was four and a half thousand miles away from Toronto. Um, of grade 12 calculus, and I'm finally done. <laughs> Probably today, when I realized I have four days to learn 12 chapters in math. Writing 11 or writing 8 exams. Yeah, that was definitely like grade 10 and grade 9. Mr. Hunt English essays for sure. I uh, still can't believe how much sleep I got. They push you. Uh, you know, it's those days of that down that you need to prep yourself for university. I This is my second home, away from home, for sure. I'm gonna miss it. Dallas is such a great fit in school and it really brings you together. People say that like the people you meet in the university are gonna be your friends forever. I think it's the people that you meet in high school. Woo! <laughs> I love yeah, you guys! <laughs> um, I think I'll remember Dell for the people that are here. Like it's a small community and everyone was just so close, so when you think when I think of Dell, I just think of all my memories out of my friends and like the good and bad times all together because like it makes me like who I am today. Dell isn't always easy, but 
but we never forget to smile and laugh along the way. I keep telling myself that it'll be fine. You can't make everybody happy all of the time. But I found myself in a place that I've never been. A place that I thought that I would okay, never be. <laughs> People yeah. looking back at me. Say it, Ma. <laughs> I keep having this dream. I'm at a party. There's people throwing drinks and oh, screaming, okay. telling me that I don't okay. belong. Um, Lately, life's been okay. the same. I find this comfortable place with all my friends, and then my friends start color. telling me that I. Both of us are nudging him, and then Rihanna, he starts saying everything about Ian. Eh, and you like that? Thought not, thought not. It's beautiful. Oh my god. He dropped his photoshop to the video tape. Was a time I could move, there was a time I could breathe. The crowded space is filled with angry faces. It didn't once cross my mind. Paranoia in my heels, but you love me still. Love is a game, girl, then you're gonna win.